Welcome to A Minute or Two with the Word. I'm your host, Torah teacher Ariel, where every week or so, we take a look at a relevant passage of Scripture together as Jews and Gentiles in Messiah. A growing number of believers today, myself included, subscribe to keeping the whole of the Torah as an instructional document for those in Messiah. Other Christians say we should only concern ourselves with the Ten Commandments, and still others say we don't even need the Ten. Is there scriptural wisdom that can point us in the right direction? Being Jewish yet growing up in Christian schools, I've always been taught that the law was much more than the Ten Commandments, although it included the Ten. Interestingly, when questioned about the greatest commandments of the law, Yeshua, Jesus, actually replied that there were two great commandments, love God and love your neighbor as yourself. We talked about those two in a recent video, by the way. Yet, if you look up these two great commandments, neither one of them is found in the Ten. To be sure, the first one is from Deuteronomy 6.5, and the second one is from Leviticus 19.18. One could say that the first four of the ten govern our relationship to God, and the final six govern our relationship to our fellow man. This would make Yeshua's two great commandments a sort of distilled summary of the ten commandments themselves. So, in conclusion, the ten commandments is perhaps the comprehensive summary of law written by the very finger of God, but it is clearly not the whole of the law. The additional commandments of God were, of course, dictated to and written down by Moses. And if we take Yeshua's words and ground them in the context of the Bible as a whole, I firmly believe that we should commit ourselves to all of God's words and God's ways. Amen? Amen.